at the mark. This is uh, quite a busy popular area and there's six people fishing and they're all straight into the uh, the fish so I'm in a hurry. <laughs> it's right at the top of the tide now and I don't want it to start ebbing and uh, for everything to change so I need to get into the action. There's the first bait, squid and uh, frozen peeler on a pulley dongle rig. Oh, it's deep. Unfortunately, the bait clip came off through that cast. Half my bait came off. Should be enough though. Oop. Well. Didn't take long to get my first bite. Or indeed my first fish. What have we got a tangle? Oh, <laughs> first fish, four minutes in. Unfortunately, not, not the species that we wanted. It is, however, my third ever dogfish. Let's get it back. Couldn't believe it, been here five minutes. I've already got dogfish rash. rash. Well, that's the second bait in the water. Fished for eight hours last week. Barely a nibble. Five minutes in and we've got a fish. It's a dogfish, but it's, <laughs> it's got fish in the name. <laughs> and then, like I said, it's only my third ever. So uh, yeah, bonus. Got that out of the way now and onto a ray. Oh. <laughs> well, I've only caught three dogfish. But this one didn't feel like one before I snagged up.
feels heavy. Feels unlike a fish I've caught before. First ever thornback. Let's see why they're called thornbacks. <laughs> awesome. All right, and go home now. <laughs> well, I can't believe it. Ten minutes and caught the target species. First time ever. I've had a ray, and it was actually on the same bait that I caught that doggy on. It's also the first time I've caught a fish on a dongle rig, and it was hooked beautifully in the. Uh, in the corner of the gob. Now I'm gonna cut this crab in half so I can open it out like that. Stick it on the bait mate and whip it on lightly. Slide it off. I'm gonna nick the tail because this imp on this uh, on this rig keeps coming undone during the cast. That's why I prefer uh, splash downs. But I must admit I bought this rig. Oh. Well, I literally just cast that in. Could be knackered at the end of the day if this continues. Seems to be a bit of a ledge in front of us. God, these are weird looking fish. There you go, son. God, so many spines on them. There we go. <laughs> Second ray in 10 minutes. I don't know how heavy this is. Maybe four pounds or so. Awesome. So, so far, I had two rays and a dogfish. I've got a dogfish rash and a ray rash cut. The hands are going to be screwed by the end of this day. But fishing's awesome. Well, I think I'm just going to stick another little bit of crab on there. It was literally in five minutes, so. <laughs> if it keeps going like this, I'm going to be going home early with no bait. Right. Four cats, let's see if we can get a fourth fish.
is my old my lure fishing trick and keeping the line close to the water because I've got a pretty stiff side wind. Just had a pull down there. There's a load of little, I think the porpoise. Oh. Somebody having a go at it. Yep. This might actually be a doggy. No, it's not. Definitely another ray. Just a wee one note. Colours are spectacular. Not the greatest fighting fish. Open your mouth, mate. Thank you. It's like a tiger, that one. Might have a break. <laughs> that bait's barely been in the water. I'm going to chuck it back out. Put another crab on it. Actually, I'm not. I'm just going to chuck it back out. I'm coming that quickly yet. It's unbelievable. Not quite as far this time. Let's see if that makes a difference. I just put that bait straight back on. Doesn't seem to make a difference at the minute, so um, yeah. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Literally been here 45 minutes. Oh, this feels like a better one. You hear the wind whistling through me braid. Oh, it's a bit easier now. I wonder if it was foul hooked. Trying to get it up to the surface because I know there's a ledge in front of us. But <laughs> I like a carrier bag that just stay in the water. Oh, but it is a fish and not some weed. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a fish. Well, it's weird that because uh, I felt like a much bigger fish. Last one is like a tiger. This one's got well, cheetah spots, leopard spots. Now I've got another cut. <laughs> well, that was the same bait. Caught three fish. You know, it's, it's starting to get rubbed up a little. There must be loads of fish out there. I'm just gonna stick this tiny, tiny peeler on. I 
was I've got a second rig ready, but I haven't had time to bait it up. I'm gonna put the crab on first. So that's four small rays, all thorn backs. Um, I would quite like a bigger one now. I'm not being greedy because uh, I'm catching fish and that's the main thing. It's been a tough month so far, so uh, I'm happy just to be catching. But these little ones, I mean, they're like, I think I said, they're like carrier bags in the water. I wonder what a big one would be like. I know something though, crab in that cup smarts a little. Sixth bait in the water, fifth fish. <laughs> yep, there we go. I was just thinking this bait's been in the water six minutes and I haven't had, apart from a tiny little bit of interest at the beginning, I haven't had anything, but now, we do. It looks a bit more doggy like that though. In my great, vastly fast experience of catching doggies. That had some weight on it. But Now I lifted it and uh, there was nothing there so I let it settle and then whatever was chasing it attacked it straight away again. And then I lifted into it and I missed it and uh, now it's on. There's definite ledges out there felt really light before and now it's a wee bit heavier. <laughs> well, I was wrong. Five casts, five fish, or six. I'm gonna stop counting because I obviously cannot cast pound, <laughs> cast pound, count past five. Do you know what? I'm just going to stick the same bait out again. Doesn't seem to make any difference. Went short again that time. Oh, that looked like a bite. Oh, my line's all the way over there. I cast that way. No, it wasn't a bite. The tide must be really honking out the current. I can't see any visible current lines. But uh, I cast straight in front of us towards the windmills on the other side and I've got a seven ounce lead. Oh, there's a bite. <laughs> yep, that was definitely a bite. And now my lead's like, no, oh, it's probably at three o'clock. I decided to bring it in because the fella next to us I've pretty much gone in front of him now. And he's casting short, so... Uh, I think I know what's going on. 
It must be a mud bank or something because uh, I've got a load of mud on my braid. I think it's acting like a cheese wire. That squid's caught five fish as well, so uh, four fish. Yep, definitely time for a new one. Pretty sure that's my seventh cast because I've had five fish in my last cast. I didn't catch anything. That was five, <laughs> five fish in a row. Still haven't managed to get my second rig baited up yet. Oh. oh, it was on. No, it's not. Try to lift into it. I might have just pulled the hook. Either that, it's too small for the uh, dongle bait. I think this is, I've said it before, I know I have, but this is definitely the longest a bait's been in the water. It must be a touch in 10 minutes now. Seems to have slowed down for everyone though, it's, uh, it's not just me. It's like clay, well that's a first for me. Never had mud stuck on my line before. It's normally grassy weed on, uh, on the beach. Oh, it's clogged up my eyes and everything. Put that in the rubbish bag. Well, that's why I didn't have a bite. Absolutely nothing left, not even any, <laughs> any elastic. Eighth bait. Same bait as before as well. I've only got one type of, well, one type of cocktail. Squid and crab. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> I'm just sticking another crab on here. Uh, and I've also whipped uh, the grips of my lead closed. So I've got more chance of holding bottom. If that fails, then I'm gonna to go to an up and over rig because then the bait's lower down. Fishing wise, I've had, obviously had nothing for the past two casts. Two doggies have just come up. So maybe the rays have moved on and uh, the dogs have come in, but it's still only 12 o'clock. Let's see what this cast brings. Well, I think I picked up a bit more weed. Just had a little sort of pull down on the rod there and as soon as I let out any braid it, the slack's taken up instantly. Oh, that looked a bit more bitey though. Feels really heavy, definitely over an edge. Oh. Getting taps. Oh, that's not an edge. Whoa, this one's kicking back. It's not a carrier bag. Video. <laughs> a 
if this is weed, I ain't gonna be happy. Stop kicking. No, no, it's still kicking. come off. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, that was the best one of the day for sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, needless to say, I'm a bit good. Oh. And my trick with the uh, bait and elastic on the legs or grips work really well. Obviously they've not tripped. But oh, oh, I could feel that. That's the first time I've caught one of these rays and I could feel it kicking. Rather than just a almost a dead weight. Right, I'm just gonna leave that on because it's only more scent. <laughs> this is gonna be a monster bait. There we go. Messy bait, full of squid ink as well. This clay is a nightmare. If I don't get a wind knot with this, it's, uh, it's gonna be a miracle. Let's just get it out. There's big fish about. The cast went like maybe half the distance because the amount of mud on my braid. i give this 10 minutes. Hopefully get that Leviathan that I lost. Oh, that was a bite. Slack linders. Oh, no, it hasn't. Uh, don't. Did slack liners? Oh, God, they're so aggressive, these things. They'll just chase a bait. Give it more time. It's not a cod. <laughs> oh, it's come back. Got it that time. It's not as big as the last one. Oh, it's been an hour or so, hour and a half maybe. But it seems like they're back on the feed that it was in the water for you know, three or four minutes maximum. Fast and low that cast. Oh, oh. Slow pull downs. Learning to take my time. Oh, massive amount of weed. <laughs> well, they're coming thick and fast now. 
There's another one. Well, it's the next cast. Ninth, maybe, and seven fish. Um, hopefully now we can get the batteries and we have a GoPro. <laughs> it's crazy how it's like a switch. They just they must come through in packs or just different stages of the tide. I haven't done enough of this, so I don't, don't really know, but it's, uh, it's quite good fun to learn something new again. Different area, different species. Uh, this one's coming right in front of a big rock. Need to get it up over. Definitely not the intended species. Might be a PB for me, that. Come here, you wiry little. <laughs> Fella down there just goes, oh, he pulls in a nice, uh, Ray and goes, oh, looks like the dogfish have passed, just as I strike into my fish, and lo and behold, dogfish. <laughs> Fishing's just insane. You to catch a monster, but I'm not complaining at all. I mean, this is a target species, thornback ray or any type of ray. Never caught them before. And... I've had six. Gonna have to count it up on the edit. Oh, there's a bite already. Whoa, we pull down. Oh, this feels more like the last one. Nah, it's not. The, when I say the last one, the last one I lost. The big one. Come here, put your wee git. Go. There's another. Covered in spikes, this one. See you later, dude. I think I'm going to treat myself to a fresh bait. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to stick it out again. See if I can't get another one. 
four fish on one bait. I think that's another doggy. Doggy. Maybe not. To change my angle here. There we go. Smallest of the day, probably. Spikiest one as well. Oh, sorry, dude. That wasn't a great release. Go on, away you go. Yeah. They're quite possibly one of the slimiest fish I've caught. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the up and over rig. Maybe having a much longer trace might help me get into amongst or might change the size of the fish I don't know just kind of hoping but downside I guess to this rig is that um, it's a panel and the dongle rig has been it's been superb at uh, hooking the fish and the scissors whereas a panel with its two hooks might not be quite as good so I'll give it one shot see what happens if I end up deep hooking something then uh, or indeed snagging up I'm gonna swap back to that single hook dongle there we go oh, disastrous cast oh the pulley release released the snood and then I accidentally got my fingers caught in the braid to feather the cast. Hopefully that doesn't mean that it's uh, all tangled up. I think the current should, um, should at least untangle it, I would say. Uh, <laughs> no, you're all right. I don't know if we've both got one. We've both got one. Aye. <laughs> Aye, that guy cast right over us. He caught a bit bigger thorny than me. Uh, we had a bit of a tangle, but he's a subscriber called Tyler, so I let him off. Nice to meet you, Tyler. So the up and over worked with the panel. Uh, one thing i definitely notice is I'm gonna have to use more bait because I can't reuse it all the time. It just seems to be uh, chewed apart. So uh, I'm gonna get a fresh one on and get it back out. So the next bait in, it's, uh, it's pretty busy now, but we must be near slack or at slack. I think uh, it's going to start flooding, so. Oh, there we go, slack lined. Like my leads come off.
this. It's like. Oh, it's because it was a fish. Well, I must have just been carrying my lead. Next fish. Well, I'm down to my last crab, so I've halved it. I'd probably be fine on just squid, but um, it's a psychological thing, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna cast this out, as always. <laughs> and now, oh, I'm back on the dongle rig as well. Just bait just hits the water. There's no chance of getting bored unless you get bored of catching a similar stamp uh, fish. But I think the guy down there pulled in an 11 pounder one, so there's obviously some decent ones around. Just gotta wade through the smaller ones or figure out how to catch a bigger one. Up and over didn't make any difference, so yeah. Gonna cast back out. Cameras were recording. Oh, have I? So, your fish? Oh, I've got Tyler again. <laughs> I've probably got one cast left in us anyway. I'm nearly out of bait. I've been here since this morning, so. Uh, uh, right. I've just done. Uh, I've just done done the clip. I should just pull out. There you go. Smashing. Cheers. Well, that's me putting ultimate cast. I think got one half a crab left, and I think that might be the heaviest one of the day. There we go. Have a quick look at it. It's my blood, not the fish's. Well, that's going to be my last bait. I'm going to set a timer. I reckon this will probably be in the water about four or five minutes because it's it's just the way the fishing is at the minute. That's the last bait. See how we get on. It's nice to sit down for a minute. It's been pretty, pretty hectic fishing session, in all honesty. Not what I was expecting in the slightest. Oh, that's not what I wanted to finish on. Well, that's definitely not what I wanted to finish on. Well, there's a little bit of bait on there, so uh, I'm gonna have another cast. <laughs> That's definitely the last cast. The world's coming out nice again. Yeah, this one's kicking like the one that lost was. Not quite as much. Oh, there's a rock. Not quite as much, but definitely is.
Oh no, it's snagged. There we go. No, you don't. Get around there. That's much better way to finish the trip than uh, than a doggy. That colours on that. My back hurts. <laughs> um, what a day. Compared to last week, I think I said before, it's just it's just a different world, really, in terms of fishing. I don't think I mentioned at the start of the video or at all because it was so hectic but this year I've, uh, I'm trying to catch maybe four or five new species that I haven't caught before uh, one being any type of ray um, another one maybe a bull hus, uh, taupe um, more bait stuff basically um, still going to do loads of lure fishing though because that's what I love but I just really fancied uh, mixing it up a wee bit learning some new skills targeting some new species and uh, this is my second attempt at catching a ray after a blank last week, so kind of made up for it. Yeah, pretty knackered after my uh, half four wake up call, but been well worth it. And a uh, lovely day. Quite, quite mild actually for, well, it was six degrees when I got out of the car, but um, yeah, not too bad at all. Not my usual type of mark, knowing that it's a popular mark and quite busy, but. <laughs> obviously popular and busy for a reason but uh yeah everyone's been really nice and it's been uh, been good crack so um on that i'm going to pack my stuff up and then i've got a, about an hour walk got a big hill to go up oh my fingers are red anyway <laughs> enough of that so yeah i'm gonna pack up and go um so i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment, that would be amazing. And until the next one, tight lines. All right. Yeah, that's okay. Aye, no worries. It's too easy, isn't it? Aye. <laughs> now you said that, aye, it is. <laughs> I almost think like I'm going to, have to sit down and have a rest. I've only been here an hour. I've videos on YouTube. I've watched one of your videos. Have you? Do you fish in the same abs and all that? Aye, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah you, what do you call you? Uh, slippy limpets. Oh, oh, is that good? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> you too, mate. <laughs> Bloody wind. <laughs>